Sisters, this is your weekly reading. Let's see what we have for you. Something came to light. And you're thinking about that. You're thinking a lot about that. There is pause, there is observation, there is wondering, curious, looking for an answer or answers. Something triggered that curiosity or triggered that thinking to seek answers. I see you giving unconditional love, but I also see you not fucking around. Kind of like treating people the way they treat you, or vice versa. Treating people the way they treat you. Does, did I say that vice versa? So, there are boundaries in your energy. You will be kind, forgiving, loving, but also be assertive. It's like you will demand respect. For those that don't respect you, out they go, out of your life. Even if they cross the boundaries, you will stop them by maybe not giving your energy to them or by actually verbally telling them off. Uh, no one fucks with you, is what I heard. No one fucks with you. Because even when people try that, there is an instant regret. What is this energy? I feel like there is a different energy here. Oh, yeah. Someone that you have feelings for is confused. They don't know what their next move is. Someone that, that is in your heart space, someone you have feelings for, just confused, maybe about you, about this connection, but they will have clarity soon. And when they have this clarity, they will make a decision and that will be towards you. They will offer something. What will they offer? <laughs> commitment even marriage for some of you because this is the four of wands this is the stability card this is let's partner up whether this is proposal commitment some kind moving in going doing something together could be a project for very little few of you, it could be work that you are very passionate about. But for most of you, this is a lover. This is someone they have feelings for. And they will offer you some type of partnership or commitment, possibly marriage. There is higher commitment here that, that, that's on their mind. So serious, they do this or they will come up with this offer. Because they think it's what you want. They think that's the way to proceed with you. That is their next move towards you because that's what you want. Whether they, that's true or not. But it's showing that they will make up their mind with this offer. Because they think that's the way that they will have some type of... That, that's the way... They will be allowed in your life to offer you a higher commitment. 
because the devil is here. This person is determined to have you. This can be a separation, but this can also be a connection where you are, where you two are in a connection, but things are not moving. And this person is confused because they don't know what you want and they think higher commitment is the safe card, is the next move, the safe move towards you. Whether this is true or not, take it as a resonance. That's what this person thinks. And they will be taking a leap of faith forward towards you. They are willing to invest and bid and sacrifice or compromise to do that move, to make that move. Because they think it will make you happy or they think it will have an effect on you in the sense where they will have some type of control maybe over you or control over the connection because they don't feel that they are in control at the moment. So they are willing to make an offer that something maybe not your this decision could be not something that they would usually go for but it's it's in in a way they're doing this to impress you to satisfy you or to feel, to fulfill some type of uh, fantasy of yours but the real intention behind that seems to be to have control over you or to have some type of to have some part of them in your life because they don't feel like they are enough of a part in your life. Okay. How will this play out? There will be drama. I, I see here there could be some type of conflict, but this is a soul contract. You are meant to experience this with this person. And the reason why you are meant to experience it, whether it's for a blessing or a lesson, is divine. It won't be an easy road. But it is, it, is it meant to be? Yes. <clears throat> Will it be challenging? Yes. Will it be worth it? Also, yes. What are you trying to tell me? Or where are you trying to tell the Sagittarius? And I don't mean it's oh god in a bad way. I see it as a, as a positive in a way, but it will be challenging, Sagittarius. You will feel a bit slowed down with this connection. You might even feel burdened by this connection. But this has involvement in, here involved. Involvement involved. <clears throat> so does it have potential? Yes. Will it trigger you in many ways? Yes. But it will move you from your current energy to the impers energy. It will move you to the state of mind of, of harmony. You will, you will have a different perspective when you go through this. Or you will have a different perspective going through this. Because I see here, even though it, it, it might be challenging, it's challenging you in ways where it will help you grow. <clears throat> because it's, I see here that this can trigger your emotions. But these emotions that will be triggered are signs for you to look at. Because these triggers are meant to be developed. Developed in ways where you terminate the triggery. Where you look at these triggers and question, why am I triggered with this? Is there something that is within me that's preventing me from seeing the situation in another perspective? And that will help you grow. This is what I mean by 
evolvement, involvement when it comes to this situation with this person. So the universe is kind of saying that you need to go through this not just for the other person, but not for the other person, maybe entirely. This is to help you grow personally. And that is the difference here. So don't take it as... Um, this can be a lesson after all, but don't take it too close to heart. Because this will only help you become better. And that is your message here. I feel like, okay, let's see, is there anything else for Sagittarius? Is there anything else for Sagittarius? There is a person here that you dealt with before. It could be even the same person that we talked about that is willing to make changes and change and also go through the healings or or kind of um, getting rid of the past by healing just so they are fair to you so you are helping this person also change if this is the same person because it could be a, another energy but I see here that this person there is a person here that is going through changes just to make you or just to treat you better does that make sense so this person wants to change because they want to be fair to you so they care about how they treat you they care about how you think of them or what you think of them and that is motivating them to change for the better too because they're getting rid of the things that hurt them that the things that left a bad taste in their mouth so that they can give you a fair chance with them. This person does have feelings for you, passionate in the sense where they care about you. This doesn't have to be a lover, but it could be the person we talked about. But for some of you, this can be a friend that betrayed you or didn't give you enough time. They're willing to change a certain aspect about themselves so that they give you a fair treatment. So you're helping this person mature in ways where they become better, but their motivation is you. They want to be fair to you. They are willing to leave the past in the past for you. It's like they're using you as their motivation to get rid of the things that are holding them back. And that will benefit them a lot, but they're using you as the motivation. So maybe you triggered something in this person that's helping them look at themselves. And they're changing because they see you as like, yeah, I will change for Sagittarius because I feel like it's, it's right, it feels good. And uh, yeah, I don't like these things about myself anyway, but but Sagittarius is here, so I'm going to change now. You know what I mean? You made this person want to change. Because they want to treat you better. I feel like I want to pull the major arcanas. Let me pull the major arcanas. I feel like you need to know something else. We have the moon. Powerful. The moon is number 18. Powerful intuitive epiphanies, letting go of worry and fear, understanding the truth of a situation. This is the beginning of your energy, the beginning of the reading energy. As I said at the beginning, that there are things that are surfacing in your life that will make you embrace who you are to reach your full potential. And you won't be wasting time in the wrong places or into the wrong energies 
including people. Best of luck, Sagittarius. That's what I have for you this week. I will see you soon.